Hey guys, um, I'm here to do another ROM review on this one I believe is called the All-Star ROM. It's essentially based on the AOKP Milestone 1, so there are not major differences. This is a Jelly Bean ROM, and I guess it supports or I guess is error free and bug free of whatever Milestone 1 accomplished. Um, they added few minor details um, but it's essentially the same thing um, there's such a thing as uh, Dolby 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 not sure how, how to say that um, mobile and that's basically surround sound quality and they have beats audio I'm sorry about the autofocus I have no idea why the camera stopped doing it it was doing it in my first few videos but now it just automatically changed its mind um, okay uh, so yeah they have a few cool little things in there like um, they even have let's see if I can kinda angle it so you can get a better view here it says OTA updater so basically when this ROM or the developer shoots out a new update for it you can download it directly by using this built-in app um, it does not replace your system files and do a OTA like the original like stock ROM where you don't have to wipe anything you st it basically just downloads the ROM into your internal or SD card depending where you place it and um, you gotta flash it like every other ROM um, and I think you have to follow the same steps like wiping system and formatting and blah 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 uh, whatever whatever it is you did to get this ROM on, you do the exact same thing to flash the new OTA. So um, I guess it's convenient, so you don't have to keep searching up blogs if you want to see an update for this ROM if you really like it. Um, there is, like I said before, Beats Audio. There's another thing called Asset Sound Mod. That's like uh, hitting the volume to put on the screen instead of the power button. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. Google now is slightly better integrated um, if you watch my AOKP review it will be better um, because I go more into depth of what the new Jelly Bean has to offer as in bug fixes um, I haven't been running this ROM a very long time just a couple hours so I can't really show you battery life um, it's showing 50 minutes but I restarted the phone um, so yeah uh, Oh, and one more thing that I have to show is the boot animation. So, if you love um, the Nexus uh, out the look of it, uh, this is kind of cool. But I don't think it's a really big thing to switch over from any other Jelly Bean ROM that you already have. So, if you are already on the AOKP Milestone 1, I would recommend you staying on that until Milestone 2, I assume. Uh, or... Um, yeah, if you really, really want this boot animation, um, yeah, I guess you could switch over. This is essentially AOKP anyway, so I haven't experienced any bug per se. And, yep, there you go. That's the little cool Nexus 4 boot animation that uh, they ported over. I think they got it from leaked files or APKs or I'm not sure from where. But, yeah, stay tuned. And I wanted to put a shout-out um, in this video basically to say that Nexus 4 is going to be releasing really soon so I'm going to get try and get my hands on that as soon as possible and I'm going to be doing a multiple part review for that um, so first part being like unboxing and specs and blah 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 you know the normal thing and I'm going to get my hands on a Galaxy S3 quad core version the international one and we're going to go I guess that will be the second part where we're going to do head to head comparisons there will be benchmarking, there will be day photos, night photos, as well as day video and night video comparisons between the two. Um, the, so the S3 is really the only competitor, or the number one competitor right now. So that's why I'm going to try and get my hands on both of those. And stay tuned, subscribe, and like this video. And thanks for watching. Yep, yeah, see you later.